If you love today's 10 minute hit workout, you are really going to enjoy Zuri, which is a premium workout on my site. It's about 30 minutes long and it's lit. So happy to see you here today. Let's jump into the warm up. Good mornings. Good morning to you, wherever you are in the world. Make sure your stomach is sucked in. Keep your back flat, bend over, twist from side to side, keep your feet together. I'm going to tell you more about this 10 minute hit workout as we go along because you're going to enjoy yourself. No burpees, y'all. No burpees. Give me some butt taps. Make sure your stomach is sucked in. Try to pull your heel all the way to your butt. If it doesn't get all the way to your butt, it's okay. Excuse my voice. We're going through some things, but we're here. Keep going, keep going. That looks good. Yep, just like that. Now, if you can do good mornings, you can do good morning taps. You're going to bend over and just jump your feet together. If you're not in the mood to jump just yet, since it's just a warm up, you can step your feet together. Keep your hand on your waist. That looks awesome. You made a good choice today coming to do this workout. I know it's not easy, but here you are. Give me some switch pumps. It's all right. Don't worry about getting it perfect. This is not a dance workout. Just punch your hands from side to side. Make sure your arms are parallel to the floor. Ignore the jiggle. We all jiggle. Suck your stomach in. Switch your legs. That was good. That was really good. First move of the day, split squats. If you have some light dumbbells, I'm holding five pound dumbbells. You can hold on to them, but body weight is really good as well. This is very intense if you do it correctly. I'm going to guide you. Are you ready? Let go. Make sure that front foot is flat on the floor. I don't want you on your tiptoes. I don't want your heels off the floor. Toes, everything should be touching the floor. That looks good. Just drop down. That front knee shouldn't be going too far past your toes. If your front knee is going too far past your toes, it just means you need to step your foot out a little bit more. That looks good. Looks great. I know it's going to be burning your thighs. We're starting off with your legs. Let's get your heart rate up. Next up, we have touch jacks. If you're unable to jump, not ready for the jumping, do the modification on the right where you're stepping instead of jumping. It's like head, shoulders. We're missing the knees and toes. Head, shoulders. Okay, touch your head, touch your shoulders. Touch your head, touch your shoulders. That's all you're doing. Keep a soft bend in your knee as you're jumping. Oh, you're doing it! Head, shoulders. Head, shoulders. You're getting your heart rate up. You're burning fat. You're working your legs. You're working your glutes. You're working your arms. You're working your soul. I love this exercise. It's so effective. That was really good. Next up, we have toe touches. If you're unable to touch your toes, touch your knees instead. Ain't no shame in your game. You're working out. You are doing the, I was going to say a bad word, but you know, family friendly. Family friendly. <laughs> Suck your stomach in. Opposite arm, touching opposite toes or opposite knees if you're doing the modified version. Yep, yep, that looks good. That looks good. Go at your own pace. Don't worry about going fast. Nice and easy. Looking good. Three, two, one. Give me a shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Yeah, shimmy, 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 shimmy. shimmy, shimmy yeah. Who's in charge? Who? <laughs> Somebody get her out of the studio. <laughs> All right, let's go. Just throw your booty left to right. That's all you have to do. Keep your arms up. Try not to let your palms go below chest level. So if you notice your arms going down, raise them up a bit. Don't worry about coordination. We don't know anything about coordination. Who is she? She doesn't go here. Keep going. Move as quickly as you can. Beautiful. We're going to finish up with some wall pushes. This is really good for your arms, your shoulders, your back, and your chest. If you prefer, you can do full push ups, but we're standing only in this workout. Keep your feet together. Arms nice and wide. Allow your chest to approach the wall and extend your arm to push your body away from the wall. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect this time, you're going to get another chance. That's it. First round down. Go ahead, drink some water, catch your breath. 
I'll see you in just a few seconds. Hi, just in case you're new here, I'm Cola, just like Coca-Cola, and I am married. I have a son with my husband. Now we live in Texas. I love pizza with no tomato sauce. I am a certified personal trainer. I am also certified in nutrition, and I wanted to personally invite you to check out my website, kabokofitness.com. On there, you can find an all-inclusive, all-access pass to all of my workouts and this includes premium 30 minute workouts that are not available on youtube my eight week booty program my 21 day belly fat focus program and get this your whole year of workouts planned for you january through december you never have to think about it ever again you can access all this content directly from my website by logging in or you can download the iphone app or the android app and just have everything in one place in your pocket it's so convenient go ahead and check out my website kabokofitness.com it's totally free to try so give it a shot see if it's right for you welcome back okay so if you were struggling in the beginning this is your chance to redeem yourself are you ready let's go we're going to do the other leg with your split squats so if you did your left leg in the first round do your right leg in this round Drop that back knee toward the floor. Really consciously think about the muscles in your thighs as you're doing this. Go nice and slow. If you're struggling to maintain your balance, you can hold a chair, hold a wall, or you can increase the space between your thighs. Open your thighs a little wider. Oh, that just didn't come out right. Mm. You did this before. I know you can do it again. We're doing touch jacks. If you did the stepping version before, I encourage you, try your hands at the jumping version just a little bit. You can start with jumping and then end with stepping. That's an option. Are you ready? Let's go. Head, shoulders. Head, shoulders. Keep those arms up. I want your upper arms parallel to the floor as much as you can. Keep it that way. Looking good. Keep that soft bend in your knee. Suck your stomach in. I love what you're doing. You look good. Go as quickly as you can. and time that was so good give me those toe touches again remember if you're unable to touch your toes touch your knees you're making progress because you are here try not to lock your knees too much just a gentle bend in your knee will really help you Don't swing your legs too quickly. Control that movement. I want you to feel the weight of your leg as you are raising it up. Thick thighs save lives, y'all. Mm. And time. Give me that shimmy. You're going to keep your arms around chest level. Move your arms from side to side. Move your waist from side to side. And just move as quickly as you can and as long as you can. We are almost done. After this, we have only one more. Uno mas. And then we cool down. Pick up the pace, pick up the pace. I see you slowing down. That's why this is a high intensity interval training workout routine. We're gonna try to push a little bit harder here. You're looking good though. You're doing good. Three, two, one. Final exercise of the day is those wall pushes. When you bring your chest towards the wall, your arms and your chest should be in a square shape. Make sure your hands are flat on the wall. You're going to have to adjust your palms to find what's comfortable for your body. Four, three, two, one. Time, you did it. You worked out today. Yes, you did. That was you, not your twin. It was you. Go ahead and pull your. <laughs> so I was gonna say pull your booty. Ha! Pull your ankle <laughs> towards your backside. Let's really stretch out the front of your thigh. You did so much movement today. Those shimmies. Mmm. Split squats. Mmm. -mm. Go ahead and switch legs, do the other side. 
I encourage you to hold on to a wall, a chair, something if you're struggling with your balance. Really feel this stretch in front of your thigh. If you have some time after this workout, try to do some more stretches. These stretches I've included are really good, but now's a great time to get some extra stretching in. Give me a reverse hyperextension. You're just going to lean back. You know how it is when you stand up from a chair and you just lean back? Yeah, don't force anything. Go through your own range of motion. Just gently lean back. This was such a good time. I'm so happy you got your workout in today. Finally, I want you to put a slight bend in your knee. Give yourself the biggest hug. I just want you to know that I'm so proud of you. It doesn't matter how many times you have to start over again. You're doing your best, and that's all that counts. I love you so much. Thank you for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in your next workout.